Welcome to another video with Mr. Oryx. I'm a Mr. Oryx and in this video we're gonna sample exotic game meat at Joe's Beer House. Joe's Beer House is an absolute institution in Namibia and Ventuk. When you come to Joe's Beer House, you shouldn't expect gourmet food. And this channel is certainly not about fancy food. They say that Joe's isn't fine dining, but fine eating. And I completely agree with that. Joe's first opened its doors in 1991, but in 2012 was taken over by the new owners, Thomas and Carol Jean Rechter. The focus is on amazing atmosphere and genuine food with a strong focus on great meat. Joe's is a casual restaurant with a large menu and can cater to large groups of people in its unique setting. And even though it's a steakhouse, you can have a salad and vegetarian dishes, but do be prepared for Namibian sized portions. And you know what they say, you haven't been to Namibia if you haven't been to Joe's. Oh, thank you so much. It looks absolutely amazing. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. This video is all about exotic meats and even by Namibian standards, I have some quite exotic meats on the table here in front of me. Today we're going to sample crocodile, ostrich, springbuck, zebra, kudu and oryx. And oryx is probably the most common game meat you would get here in Namibia and so is the springbuck. But the crocodile, ostrich and zebra is definitely quite rare. And even though we asked Joe's to source the ostrich for us, they had quite a hard time to find it. And they told us that there are only two small cuts on an entire ostrich that are edible for us humans because they're very tough. The lions, they might feel different about that one. Okay, let's dig into the crocodile and see what that's all about. It's quite a firm meat. It feels a little bit spongy uh, and let's have a small taste. I guess everyone knows what a crocodile actually looks like. They look quite mean and they look old, like almost like dinosaurs. So who can actually imagine eating a part of that animal? But here we have it. Mmm. It tastes, it has quite a neutral taste. The taste is towards the seafood side, but the texture of the meat itself is actually um, a little bit like chicken or maybe some kind of white fish that would have very dense meat. I like the crocodile a lot. I could easily have this as a main course. Mm. Moving on to the wow. This is really tender. This would be the uh, ostrich. Really, really tender. And as I press down on it, it feels like a really good filet. Mm. Wow. Has maybe a slight irony taste. The meat itself is super tender and absolutely divine. In between the meats, I'm gonna try this quite, it looks like a hamburger patty, but um, it's quite firm. It's called a milli pup. And I've had pup before, but I am unsure if I've had this kind. Um, feels maybe like a pancake that would be quite hard, like a flapjack or something. I'm gonna just take a little bit of this off. Mm. This is absolutely amazing. This is way better than the pop I had um, before. Huh. The third meat is the springbok. And the springbok is quite a small antelope here in Africa with a very beautiful pattern. And if you know what an impala is, the springbok is actually quite similar. So let's see what the springbok is all about. Mm. just falls apart. Has a little bit of a sweet taste to it, but quite an, like a natural tasting uh, piece of meat. Mm. 
my favorite has always been the springbok but i can tell you now that the crocodile and the ostrich is really competing well with the springbok we're now moving on to the fourth piece of meat which is the zebra and i think everyone knows what the zebra looks like almost looks like a horse but with beautiful stripes and i can instantly feel that this is a very dense piece of meat um it's probably not going to be the most tender out of the cuts but let's see what the taste is like and maybe maybe it's so dense because of all of the running that zebras have to do to get away from predators like lions and uh, swedish tourists I think game meat can be categorized into two categories and you have the meats that feel almost like a burger patty when you bite into them. The fibers are so dense in the meat. The springbok feels much more like a filet cut on a cow. But the zebra is definitely dense and belongs to the, um, the cut that feels more like a patty. Zebra is okay, but it doesn't do a lot for me. So the second to last meat is the kudu. And kudu is actually one of the bigger antelopes here in Southern Africa. And I can feel that this is also probably quite dense, similar to the zebra. And um, for you who don't know what a kudu is, it's quite big and the males have very twisty horns. And let's see what this is all about. Has a very good taste again a very lean meat very very lean um, same patty style as the zebra definitely edible but probably does well with a piece of sauce mm. got to have me some milli pap in between last meat is the oryx feels quite dense but a little bit more malleable than the previous meats. Oryx is another beautiful mid-sized antelope with straight horns that go straight up and there's a reason why I am Mr. Oryx. I think they are gorgeous. Let's have a bite. Like all game meats, very lean. It doesn't have the same dense um, texture as the other meats so I would classify this more as a beef experience than a game experience and all of these meats compared to Swedish game tastes very differently if if you've e ever had moose or some kind of a deer um, you know how strong the iron taste is and how wild the meat tastes this is much more like beef and something I would I very much prefer over um, Swedish gay meat. That's it. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the meat and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I really think you should stick around for the bloopers. If you like these videos, I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing. That would mean a lot to me as I will continue to bridge the gap between Namibia and Scandinavia through food. After the bloopers, you will also get to see and hear from Serafina from Joe's Beer House and she will talk about why you should come to Namibia and why you should come to Joe's. Oh, that's good. It is uh, very difficult to uh, remember the order of the meats. <laughs> On... Did you say pink? Yeah. It's quite similar to a Swedish, uh, no, not Swedish. Sorry. <laughs> and even though Namibia. 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 May the fourth. May the fourth be with you. May, may the fourth be with me. <clears throat> I don't know how many times I've this put this. <laughs> I don't know how many times I put this zebra back on the skewer. <laughs> I must do my hair like this a bit to look bushy. To look exactly, to look like... Yeah, African. African, exactly. Yeah. Why people should visit Namibia? 
Namibia is a very beautiful country with beautiful landscape. It, we have one of the biggest park in the world, which is the Tosha National Park. It is one of the highest dunes in the world, which is in Sosasle, which is in the southern part of Namibia. And Namibia has a lot of culture. We have different people from different cultures, and I believe it's one of the countries in the world where people speak more than one language. Why people should come to Jules Bios when they come to Namibia is, if you come to Namibia and you have never been at Jules, it's like you have never been in Namibia, because it's one of the best restaurants in the world. It has a massive menu. We have a variety of options to order from the menu. We have a range of antelopes. When you come in Vesa Joe's, you can expect great service, ice cold beer, served in an ice cold beer mug. And you, expect, and you can expect meeting new friends because we do table sharing whereby you will meet locals as well as tourists from all over the world. And who knows, maybe it's an opportunity for you to meet a business partner. Our shuttle service, we have a shuttle service. We can pick you up anywhere from your hotel, from the airport, just as you land into Namibia. You just make the booking, you can make them telephonically or via the email. Even if you're having a drink, you don't have to be worried about, oh, I won't be able to drive back to the hotel. We have a shuttle that can just drop you right towards the doorsteps of your hotel or your guest house. Um, my name is Serafina. I've been here for eight years at Jules. I can't wait to welcome you at Jules. So I'm looking forward to see you, to serve your ice cold beer and a delicious meal from the menu.